believe you must be looking forward to the test. Uh, of course I'm looking forward to the test. First test match of, of the summer against a, a high quality uh, attack and, and the best team in the world. It, it'd be hard not to get up for a, a test match like this. Well, I guess it, it's a little bit of a catch-22. You've got to approach it, you know, the old cliche like any other game, knowing that it's not just another game. So how you get yourself in that, that headspace takes you know, years of experience of playing in big games. And, and I feel like over the last couple of years I've I've had that experience through a couple of Shield finals and, and seven test matches, so I feel in, in a really nice space to deal with that pressure. In a, in a situation like this, the Gabba, obviously it's going to be a fairly greenish, and can you think of a more searching examination when it comes to test cricket against these guys? Uh, probably not, maybe the Wacker in four weeks' time, if, if I can uh, mm. score some runs in the first two tests. Um, yeah, no, I think, um, yeah, the test of facing good fast bowling on a, on a fast week. I don't think every year we hear about a, a Gabba green top. Well, they save those for the Shield cricket, mate. The, the test week hasn't been a green top for 15 years. So, uh, we've seen some, some excellent cricket wickets here, good to bat on, true wickets. Uh, we've seen a lot of runs scored, so that there's no reason to, to expect anything different. You, you just said then, if you score some runs, you, you beat the wacker. Sort of obviously you're thinking if you don't score runs, you, you, your spot's in jeopardy, or you know you've got well, to score runs. Well, I think it's the same as, as ever, anyone in the team. It's not it's not just me. You, you have to be consistently scoring runs in the Australian Test team to, to hold your place. Uh, I'm not Ricky Ponting. I'm not Michael Clark. You score runs, you keep your your spot. It's a it's a pretty simple formula. So uh, I don't feel any more pressure this game than I have in any other game. I, I just know that you have to score runs to hold your place. Do you think the manner in which you play obviously helps you to play the quicks because you're not, you don't, you know, the way you deflect and stuff like that it helps your cause? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, hard, fast wickets against good, fast bowling suits my game. You know, I'm a, generally a, a back foot player that likes to cut and pull and, and knock the ball around. So um, I'm excited by, by this challenge and I, I feel as I'm a, a really good spot to deal with it. No bigger challenge than play more pull around the wicket. Yeah, yeah, it's certainly a strength of his. Uh, it's a pretty obvious strength, um, and I guess the challenge is to find a way to combat them. We've got our plans in place. Um, you know, we know what he's going to do. I, I guess he doesn't know what we're going to do. So, uh, you know, we might have a, a little advantage there. In your history against Stain and, and Northland, I mean, have you gone with the plans? Never, never faced any of them. So, uh, what have the other back, the teammates told you about staying? Oh, well, he's obviously a, a world-class performer. So we know that he, he bowls 140k outswingers to the right-hander. Um, you know, I saw them bowl a lot in, in England recently. I've, I've watched them play a lot of cricket in the last couple of years. We're, we're well aware of, of how they'll be trying to get us out. So it's more about us getting ourselves in the in, in the right headspace uh, and, and the right. Uh, the right mentality to, to play tough cricket, not just for a day or two days, but for five days. If we do that, we're, we're really confident that we'll, we'll win the Test match. Just one fifty in your last five innings. Is that? I think that's right. Is that sort of the sort of preparation you need, or you're you're happy? You've already said you're in a good spot. Yeah. Uh, well, you can look at statistics however you you want to. The one fifty in five innings happened to be in the West Indies, where everyone only got one fifty for the series. And one guy got a hundred batting at seven. So you, you can narrow your focus or you can say two tests before that Davey and I put on 215 at the Wacker so you know and I had my highest score in test cricket so you can you can pinpoint any kind of statistic you like uh, the fact is score runs you stay on the team score runs the team wins the game uh, it's a pretty simple formula. You adopt the backs to the wall a fighting attitude knowing the opposition you know the, they're the world's best at the moment I think any time in Test cricket, whether you're playing the best team in the world or, or any other team for that matter, you have to be in the contest. It, it's hard work. If you're any, if there's a moment of absence from that contest, regardless of who you're playing against, you, you're back on your, your bum watching the game. So as a batsman, it's all about the contest and you've got to be in that. So it, it's no different against, against these guys as it would be to any other team. This is a rare thing happening on Friday. You guys are the underdogs. It, you know, considering the record you've got here, but you're definitely the underdogs going into this game. It, that's not a bad spot to be in, I imagine, for the Australian point of view. Uh, yeah, I guess what you meant, tell we're expecting to win. So does, it, does that does that make us the underdogs in our own mind? I think the, the general public perception is probably 
that underdog tag, we're playing the best team in the world, but we're playing at home. The last time Australia played South Africa in South Africa was a one-all draw in a two-test series. So I think the gap between the two teams, the perceived gap and the actual gap between the two teams is, is vastly different. So, um, you know, it's nice if the Australian public think we're underdogs and we're not going to win the test, we might pleasantly surprise them. Mickey, Mickey said yesterday that the secret to beating South Africa is to put the pressure on them. As an opener, does that mean you take the fight to them from the get-go, or do you, do, you, do you bide your time? Oh, it depends what kind of player you are. I think you know, someone like David Warner will probably take it on. Um, you know, for me, fighting means batting all day and, and being not out at the end of the day. If I'm 100 not out at the end of the day, or 150 or 80, it doesn't matter. That, that my job is to bat for as long as I can. Davey's way to fight is probably to, to take the bowlers on. So, um, you know, there's no point going away from, from what's worked for, for each individual. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, be up for the, we'll be up for the fight, there's no doubt about that. If, if Michael was a toss, by the sounds of what you were saying before about the wicket, it doesn't hold any pierce for you. You hope he bats first? Is that absolutely. Really? That, absolutely. There's no, it's it's going to be a bat first wicket. The, I've yet to see a Gabba wicket in Test cricket where you thought, geez, I wouldn't mind have had a bowl on that first. Um, well, I guess the only consideration is overhead conditions. If the lights are on, it's gloomy, you know, you know it's going to swing at the Gabba. Sometimes you've got to look up, not down. Um, you know, I think the whole talk of a, a Gabba green top in, in Test cricket is a bit of a furphy.